What is important, what you should realize is that uh, Zambians are suffering. You may not know that, probably. But I think uh, I mean, he's been in opposition for how many years? 20, 20 something years? He should have people to tell him the truth. Those who are on the ground. He should have meals with them. Call them for a Coca-Cola tea, a Fanta. And say, ask them, well, how is the country doing? How are my people that I'm governing, how are they doing? Are they managing to have three square meals? Because the whole essence of voting a president into power, I want to tell you this, is because they want to see that their living standards is elevated by that government and, of course, through the president. But if things will get from worse to bad from the previous government, eh, people lose confidence in you. They don't have respect. Eh? Because boy, but look at you know food. You, you stay the whole day without food and you don't know where the next meal will come from. You can say anything. That's why sometimes you say people use vulgar language against the leader. It's because of that. Eh? They feel cheated, they feel betrayed. Eh? So for me, I think if that is what he says, no one should stop him or whatever, whatever he wants to do. But as long as it's possible and it will benefit the Zambian people, let Zambians benefit from what he has said. Then I think they will respect him, they will give him credit, to credit as much as possible. All right. Uh, this prohibited as I started the load shedding due to water level, due to low water levels at uh, Lake Karibanda. I think this problem has been there since time in, in memorial. Do you think we have any lasting solution? I remember <laughs> during the PF administration, there was a state minister who was quoted in some sections of the leaders, many people to go and uh, urinate in the Karibanda dam and feed it and see load shedding. Uh, that is history. That was PF. Let's yes. talk about today. Today I was looking at the clip where the president, the current president, in fact, said we've been in office for over one year. Have you seen a load shedding? Eh? There is no load shedding. And just a few months later, there's load shedding. So let's not talk about the previous, about what somebody said in PM. It's now. People voted for UPND, for them to be different from PF so that they could deliver. But unfortunately, they're not delivering. Now, coming to your uh, question, uh, let me tell you, what is important is people to have power today. That's what we want. Uh, we are experiencing 13 hours uh, load shedding. You know what that does? It will spoil a lot of things. Even in our own homes, in our households. Chickens are rotting, beef is rotting, butter is melting, and so on and so forth. Now, go into compounds. How do you say you are a barber? That's how you survive. Eh? You are a barber. Eh? You have a small saloon. You are a lady. Eh? How can you stay for 13 hours without uh, electricity? Eh? For argument's sake, if lights go at 0, 06 hours, then it comes at 21 hours. Uh, are you going to have customers at 21 hours? No. So there will be loss of production. The economy actually will not stick. It will affect so many industries. But why did the president, eh, in his wisdom, tell the nation that there is no load shedding and there will be no load shedding? You mean he didn't consult Zesco staff to tell him to say, boss, eh, this is the Kariba Dam uh, is giving us problems, eh, or there is little water and so on and so forth. They should have done that and planned some months ago. That means they achieved no plan. They didn't plan and they didn't expect this load shedding, which is very unfortunate. That means he hasn't got a, did a good team of advisors who should have advised him. In fact, what Zambians expect is that before something happens, the president should be able to stand up and announce to the general public and tell them to say, this is what we'll be experiencing in the next few months so that Zambians are ready for that. But unfortunately, this has not been the case. This has caught us unaware. All of us, we never thought load shedding would, be, would come back again because we have enough power in this country. If not, why are they exporting? They should have stopped exporting. First of all, they should please the Zambian people. We are the power. 
They should please the Zambians, not to please the South Africans, the Zimbabweans, and so on and so forth, the Congolese, and so on and so forth. No, that's wrong. First of all, who put you in power as a president? That's what you should ask yourself. If it is the people of Zambia, why should I and shouldn't I also make them happy by stopping exporting of electricity? So, so what, what, what is your political campaign? Should they I've stop? already said it. All right. Yeah, I've already so said it. We, we move on to the Consequence Development Fund. The Consequence Development Fund uh, has been increased by the new government. I, I think in the 2022 budget it was increased from 1.5 million to 25.7 million somewhere there. Mm -hmm. how, 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 how do you describe by the usage of uh, this uh, Consequence Development Fund under the new administration? It's nothing. That's a drop in the ocean. How can you use any constituency, 25 million? You know the cost of grading a road is 1.3 million. So if you divide that eh, by 1.3, that is less than 20 kilometers. That's the year before you go to other sectors of the CDF fund. So for me, in as far as I'm concerned, that is too little. And it will not improve this country economically. Yeah. There is a lot of in there is a lot of infrastructure which needs to be done in all the constituencies. A lot of projects. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find that the roof has been ripped off by the rain, and the cost is about two hundred, three hundred thousand. Now there are ten of that nature, and that's for per year, mind you. So if you divide, in fact, the 28 point uh, whatever million into 12, that is about 2.1, 2.2 million a month. That is nothing. You are talking of empowering uh, women and um, youth and women in that same fund. That is too little. I think what I can advise the government is that major projects like bridges, roads and so on and so forth, these should be taken up by the central government. The central government should take responsibility of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, bringing in or doing these infrastructures. Because CDF should only be for small projects in the, in the, in the uh, respective local